from way out here. Talking to New Mexico. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. Really? Uh, yeah, you're doing fine. Just a you can hear that guy talking? Huh. a pretty bumpy ride right there so uh, there's a ranger station up there where's it at right up there yeah where's it at right there okay we're playing with our GMRS radios and we're reaching um, uh, Albuquerque, you, uh, believe it or not, New Mexico. Area. I'm gonna lock it up. I, I don't even know if she knows how to switch uh, over to the other the other band. My radio at home has got both frequencies. It's got two frequencies up, and I don't know if she knows how to switch to the other one or not. I watched a video because I remember that over there. Hopefully he won't do a number. All right, well. Here we are on top of the world, and I don't know if you can see it, but down there is Roosevelt Lake. Holy mackerel. And how close I'm going to get here, but... Look at this view. Wow. I wouldn't let him get too close. Bailey. Savage beast. What's the matter? You need to settle down, buddy. De-stress, de-stress, you're okay. It's okay. You want me to hold him while you go look? Are you still there? I go, can I come over here? Oh, anyway, there's that seats or whatever it's called. Bailey, leave him alone. Is it what? Kind of looks like it. There's little ruins right there, it looks like. Okay, I'll film you in the chair. Here's uh, here's Rick in the chair, one of the chairs. Is it safe, you think? <laughs> yeah, it's probably pretty heavy. Look at that. What'd you get hit in the face with a bug? Yeah, feels like yeah. Uh, I feel like a Flintstone all of a sudden. That'll happen in the outdoors. <laughs> I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get that sound of the feet mm -hmm. driving. Mm -hmm. 
and put that in the video. <laughs> <laughs> man, he just came up here to read a book. Well, good for him, man. I I don't read, so. <laughs> But uh, anyway, here's the rest of the, uh, somebody put up uh, like little chairs. It's uh, it's crazy. And then there looks like there's something over there built. Yeah. Did you guys go over there too? Is there something over there? Uh, no, 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 nothing major. Oh, okay. Just a few blocks. Man, I was, I'm kind of disappointed. I was hoping that the ranger was going to be in the tower because he always lets you go up in the top. Not there. Yeah. I never see the ranger up there. I have a few times. Really? Yeah, and I've been up in that tower with them. Really? Yep. Uh -huh. Yeah. Last, uh, I don't know. It's probably about, I don't know, probably about five years ago now. I drove my uh, UTV up here, and he was just opening the gate up there, and then he said, "Hey, anybody want to come up into the tower?" And I said, "Yeah, absolutely." And then uh, I came back down here, uh, flew my drone, and then I flew my drone up there, right up next to the windows, and he was waving at it. You yeah. know. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Wow. That was a great day. Yeah. Well, you have a nice 360 view up there. Oh yeah. Oh, it's got a it's got a screen on the front. Boy, that's a good looking dude right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What? You're not pointing at me anymore. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Is it a sheer drop-off? Alright, we're at the yeah, edge of the rim, I believe, here in right next to Young. So we can't let Bailey use all the stuff that he's coming. Because he's going to Yeah, check it out. It is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's... That's a sheer. Reminds me of Moab where we went uh, four wheeling really once. Yeah, uh... Oh look, now my phone's working. And Wagoneer, I've had, those are the ones I've always had. And I've been totally happy with those. It's just I've always wanted a, I've always wanted a wagon. You know, well. That's the way up, I like it even and that's the I way down. For it for so long. I mean, it took a long time to find one I could afford. Yeah. Mm. And out. here is our typical setup on my tailgate table, I guess Thomas mm -hmm. called it that. So I don't know the job to go to. I called my dispatcher. I was like, nope. I got to go home on like. Had a head stroke. For me, it happened so fast. Like, I, there wasn't like, I knew I was hot, but I didn't realize I was so close to passing out. Okay, well, we're airing up the tires. Or there, I airing up the tires. I'm walking Bailey. Here's the main road from um, Young down to Roosevelt Lake. We decided to go on another um, trail, that one there, up to the top of that mountain that we took some video of. And uh, Bailey is going crazy. And the ranger, the mighty, mighty ranger is pretty dusty so but it did really really good uh, never bottomed out and there's cool hand Luke over there aka Colin you're putting him up to what 32 35 35 So I guess this was what, trail or poor service road 410. 
Can you read that? Yep. And I kind of like that saying right there. Drown and stir, just to make sure. And there are some big old ponderosa pines. Like this one here. Look at that one up there. Holy mackerel. We still have a long ways to go just to get down the mountain to Roosevelt Lake. We're going to go the same way we came in. And uh, there's a goofy looking dog. You going to be a thumbnail? Are you going to be a thumbnail? Huh? All right, let me do this. Got to get some FaceTime here. Uh, yep. There's the uh, ranger and the jeep back there. And uh, end of another romp, so to speak. I guess it's over until, not over until we get back home, but um, this was a great one. Hopefully the footage uh, with the drones um, comes out really good. Um, I flew the Air 2S and uh, Thomas flew the Mavic Pro even though he said some of the he forgot to record, record some of it but that's okay I've done that like so many times I can't even remember and uh, oh let's see here's a little story for you we saw a guy up pulled off to the same side of the road just right down there uh, no, let me turn this around <laughs> just right down there like a half a mile and uh, he had a flat tire and he he was an older guy not real old but you know I don't, I don't know I don't want to say how old but he had some gray hair so we stopped and helped him change his tire because Thomas had an electric drill that he could hook up to the jack and all kinds of good tools. So, come to find out that Colin, uh, Colin's aunt on his mom's side, that was her boyfriend. His name is Ron. And maybe he might see this video. Uh, I don't know. I give him my card and. Um, So, yeah, that was serendipitous, I think, is the term we used. And uh, it was funny because Colin recognized him and then we said, do you know Kim? And he goes, yeah, that's my girlfriend. It's like, wow, okay. So that was pretty, pretty cool. One, oh, seven, three, seven, four.